like karma, the universe, all of that. Me, I, you know what I do, I, I, but not in the way. I, I guess it is in the way that people like it's described. Like I don't believe in it in this kind of uh, spiritual way, to so to speak. I do think that things come back round. Like everything comes mm-hmm. back round. Everything in, in life is a cycle just different sizes of the cycle and so i definitely i definitely believe in karma in that sense like if you do something to someone it's going to come back to you at some point just in a different way yeah because you're putting out that energy out and it's not and if Mm -hmm. it's negative energy it's going to come back around and then you're going to be living in that kind of cycle of of energy and it's just it doesn't really sit right with me doing that type of stuff so i yeah i try and put out good energy when I can and, and try and lead a life that is positive growth, uh, growth orientated with regards to, to everything else in the universe and, and all of that. Yeah, I, I guess I do. I think that people function on different wavelengths and that's kind of my go-to. And it's like, we're vibing on the same wavelength right now. And when we first met, we we're vibing on the same wavelength and sometimes people move away from those wavelengths, yeah. but that's all right. Um, but I do, I have got to the point right now where sometimes shit hits the fan and I'm like, oh, geez, I was waiting for this to happen. Why is this happening now? Like, um, I smashed oh. my phone screen and then my, my monitor has, has decided to to develop some sort of issue. So like when things bad, when bad things happen, oh, no. they all happen at the same time. I'm just like, oh, Jesus, come on, man. Like, but Give hey, I think it happened for a reason. But, but the, because you, you don't see you to get that some reason in the moment. You've kind of got to look. You've got to step, no, got you to step back and be like, why is this happening? Like, some things are so out yeah. of your control. Like, the screen, it wasn't my fault. It was, it's just the product itself has, has, has got a fault. It's just the hassle of it. And that's what I don't like. I don't like mm-hmm. hassle of things that shouldn't, things should work, I assume. And sometimes you put so mm-hmm. much uh emphasis on the fact that they should just always work you forget the fact that you know it's just a piece of technology that has the ability to break just like anything else and you always like when you're hey it's an excuse to get a new one uh, no it's not an excuse it's it's a bloody expensive (laughs) monitor man i haven't got the funds for that (laughs) yeah but come on maybe you need an upgrade this is the upgrade (laughs) this is the upgrade it's the upgrade of all upgrades well maybe not all upgrades but yeah, so sometimes when I when I look at life and I look at, you know, things that are happening in my life, I think sometimes shit hits the fan and it all happens all at once. And just before shit hits yeah. the fan, there will be this kind of like weird space that I'm in where I'm, I notice that things have gone on good for too long and I'm like, something bad's about to happen. Mm. I don't know what it is and what, what the definition of that bad is, but there's going to be a downturn. And do you feel it yeah like, you know sometimes your intuition yeah, kicks in and you like exactly feel it. that i was uh, i had a conversation with a friend of mine Musin, and when i was in india mm-hmm. i was coming back from yoga classes and we were just talking and he was like things for me have gone on too long like good too good for too long something bad's about to happen yeah and i was like yeah I, it, it's been like that for me as well right now i kid you not the next day i was in lockdown and it's just one of those Definitely. things where you're like one plus one equals two. I can't confirm that that was the bad thing that happened. I can't confirm that, you know, me yeah. feeling that resulted in it happening. But, you know, sometimes there's coincidence and then sometimes you just, you feel something coming along and you're like, you know what, I'm going to have to take this on the chin. I'm going to have to roll with the punches and come out the other end. And I do that a lot. Yeah. But for the last couple of months, you know, despite having COVID, it's been a good ride. Like I've had my ups, I've had my downs. Mm. Um, I've got, I got to this point where I wasn't enjoying what I was doing. Like, I know you enjoy your acting like massively. You enjoy your modeling, you enjoy everything that you do, but um, I'm on this weird journey of finding what I enjoy and what I, I don't enjoy. And I thought I had it down to a T that doing YouTube in this kind of like sitting format where it's, it's super sustainable would be something that I enjoy. Mm-hmm. I don't, I kind of like, it was it was getting boring spending 12 hours just just churning mm-hmm. out these videos and um from end to end and then doing all the reels and, and all the social media content and that was just getting to a point where i was like yeah i'm not i like the i like the topic i just don't enjoy creating this type of content 
So I've got a shift and now it's like, okay, so how do I use what mm-hmm. I've got? Um, maybe maybe a, buy a little <laughs> bit here and there and turn this into something that I, I, I'm going to enjoy or potentially enjoy. And that's all I can ask for, right? I can only try. So instead of sitting on my ass and not doing anything, I mean, we're co- I'm co-producing a comedy gig now and that's been an incredible experience. Um, sometimes I think like, where do mm-hmm. I add value? And it's this constant battle with myself of like, what can I do more? What can we do more to push the boundaries of this, right? Like not just make it a comedy gig, mm-hmm. but make it larger than life. Um, make it an experience of people and turn it into this, these businesses that I've, I've got in my head. Um, yeah. And then obviously the podcast and, and this platform of the extraordinary experience, extraordinary experience is uh, I'm going to get the, the name's yeah. going to take a while to click in. <laughs> but that for me has been, like for the last month I haven't done any jumped on a call with someone to have an intro chat. And I was like, I've got butterflies. Like, this is great. I'm back out. I'm pushing myself again. This is great. Oh, good. Um, but sometimes I feel that, you know, I'm not doing enough. So I, I go through these like ups and downs of I'm not doing enough. Let's add stuff in. Oh, I'm doing too much. Let's take something away. And it's got finding the balance of it. all. And then social life, to be perfectly honest, I spend my time with like two guys, two other guys. And that's about yeah. it. Like, <laughs> 